are superheroes social justice warriors? Uh, well, you know, it's funny because this comes out a lot when people are complaining about SJW topics and things in comics. One of the frequent pushbacks is, hey, have these guys ever read an issue of Superman because Superman is a social justice warrior? All superheroes are. And that's, that's not wrong, but it's not right either. This isn't a video about is social justice a good thing or a bad thing or politics or any of that. It's really kind of a look at words. <laughs> much, much more boring than I was getting in here and getting really angry because the problem with this statement is that almost anything you say about social justice and comics and characters can technically be true and false at the same time. Hey everybody, this is Birch. Um, this, the, the way to kind of summarize this in terms of this argument, because I see this argument come up a lot, and it's a little bit, to me it always comes off as very dismissive. When everybody says, hey, you know, all, you know, somebody's complaining about SJW politics. First of all, I don't think they are necessarily really getting at the heart of what's bothering them. I think they're using kind of this as a catch-all term. SJW politics is just kind of this, this blanket statement that can mean a lot of different things. And I think in many cases, when people throw it out, they're really, they're really not identifying what's bugging them. They're just kind of saying something that is popular and trendy, and it's no knock against anybody. It's just, you know, in this case, the, the words matter. The definition tends to matter. So then the response to that of, like, all superheroes are, are SJWs. All superheroes are social justice warriors. This is what they are. And I've uh, been a couple of creators. I mean, I think Mark Wade is one who, who said this on panel very famously, very loudly, is just, Superman's an SJW, and so is Iron Man, and so is Fantastic Four, and so is all the all these characters are SJWs. And the the problem with that is, what is an SJW? If you ask uh, many different people, and, and to drop the warrior part of it, because it's just kind of silly, you know, silly nouns at the end. Um, but what is social justice? The challenge with that is there's not one definition, and even though a lot of people say they know what it is and say they they claim to to have their definition that's fine you can have your own kind of thing that you're settled on as a person you should the challenge is there's not a universal uh definition of, of what social justice is and you know to prove it just use your friend google there and just google social justice sometime and see what comes up you know here's here's a couple that social justice is a concept of fair and just relations between the individual and society as measured by the distribution of wealth, opportunities for personal activity, and social privileges. All right. Here's another one. Uh, social justice is the view that everyone deserves equal economic and social rights and opportunities. Social workers aim to open the doors of access and opportunity for everyone, particularly those in greatest need. Here's another one. There are four key principles of social justice. Equity, access, participation of rights. All right. Here's another one. Social justice is the capacity to organize with others to accomplish ends that benefit the whole community. If people are to live free of state control, they must possess this new virtue of social justice. This is one of the great skills of Americans and ultimately the best defense against statism. Okay. Here's another one. Uh, social justice is the life and dignity of the human person, solidarity, care for God's creation, call to family, community, and participation, option for poor and the vulnerable, rights and responsibilities, and the dignity of work and the rights of workers. Here's another one. The goal of social justice is to seek retribution <laughs> for past misdeeds and redistribution of power to enhance the well-being of individuals through equal access of health care, justice, and economic opportunity by toppling the government if necessary. I, I can go on and on. The, 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 the problem is you can do this for yourself. There is a million definitions of what social justice is. So Yes, some of those absolutely fit current superheroes, but frankly, some of those definitions fit current villains too. <laughs> it's like when you get into the the aim is to uh, to redistribute all wealth and rights and to topple governments. I mean, uh, that that's that stuff the Red Skull has done. But at the same time, if we're talking about care for your fellow um, person and and uh, being able to be treated fair and equitable, whether you're, you know, a powerful politician or just an individual, that stuff Superman has done. 
So this is why this entire argument to me gets really goofy very quickly because yeah, I, I you know, if, if we're saying social justice is, you know, just the rights of people to be treated fair and, and you know, with equality, then yeah, I mean, that is a superhero trait. Absolutely. Mark Waid is right. Superman is all into that. But at the same time, I don't remember the comics where Superman's like flying into uh, Lex Luthor's building and like, uh, you know, t taking all of his money and giving it out to the people in Metropolis. I don't recall those scenes where Superman is hanging out in Star Labs, uh, making sure that they've got proper LGBTQ representation within their workforce. That's not stuff Superman does. So, so what, what is this idea of social justice? And, and that th therein is the problem. The concept lies with the individual. And I'm sure there are many writers, um, storytellers in comics, who say, hey, you know, Superman should be fighting for the people who are not powerful enough to fight for themselves. Superman should be making sure that, uh, you know, powerful, rich, kind of evil people, i.e. Lex Luthor, is not trampling on I don't know, Jimmy Olsen or some rando that Superman has found on the street. That is Superman. That's what he should be doing. Uh, but it, it is also part of Superman not to enforce his will over others. That's been kind of core to his character of, you know, you don't come in and you don't uh, topple governments. You don't come in and you don't uh, tell people, hey, we're going to do retributions now because of uh, retributions, reparations, sorry, uh, because of some past misdeeds. While I was, you know, a, a glimmer in the eye of Jor-El on Krypton. I mean, we, we don't, they don't get into stuff like that because Superman believes that ultimately humans must you know, manage themselves. They must find their own justice. And his jo goal is to kind of seek the way and, and to, to kind of lay out uh, a path that they can take. And that's always been what the character has been about. In fact, there's been lots of stories over time when the superheroes, you know, take it a couple steps too far and start to impose their will over people. And that always leads to chaos. That always leads to problems. I, I mean, there was the hell, there was a story in Justice League earlier this year where they go to another planet and the people are like, you guys are powerful and awesome. You are our new leaders. And Wonder Woman's like, nope, this isn't right. This isn't how we do it. And that's, that's correct. That's, that's tends to be consistent with how superheroes are written. If you want something that is more, I would call, um, you know, taking over and enforcing, saying we have power and with this power comes responsibility. Not great responsibility, but responsibility to, you know, do things the right way, then you're looking for the authority. And that comic was really a cautionary tale against superheroes doing exactly this. So th the problem is whenever you enter into an argument and somebody throws out the, hey, I don't like SJW uh, comics, and somebody else throws out the, well, all superheroes are SJWs, everybody is, is talking in such broad terms, it's impossible. To, I mean, that's a non-debate. It's, it's, you know, it's like saying the best color is orange and somebody else saying, well, the best color is clearly green and there being a fight about that. You can't win that fight. There is no value that will come out of it. I think that, uh, you know, if we want to kind of break it down piece by piece, I think there is a case of writers who have written characters, superheroes, inconsistent with their history and what they are as characters and their personalities. I think that's very true. I do not think that's related to SJW only topics. I think that's a bigger problem that frankly has existed for a very long time where you get somebody to come on, they do their spin on a character and it's completely different from, you know, the character. Sometimes maybe that works out for the best. You know, Daredevil's gone through some pretty major personality changes this way and people liked it. Sometimes they don't. You know, Reed Richards has changed his personality over time. A lot of characters on the X-Men. Batman is way different when he was, you know, snuggling with Robin and, you know, <laughs> over the weekend. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I just mean Ro Batman used to like, and, and they, he and Robin would like hang out at the mansion and, and in pajamas and stuff. And then they go out and fight crime. And obviously when Frank Miller did his take on Batman, it was much different. It was inconsistent with parts of how the character used to be. And it worked out. People liked it. But other times writers do this and, and people don't like it. And if the argument back is, you know, when somebody says, I don't like something, if the argument back is, well, you know, this is always how they've been, then that's incorrect. That's factually incorrect. And I think that's where a lot of this stuff kind of falls down. This idea of, 
all the characters are SJW. I mean, that sure, all the characters are drawings on a page as well. It doesn't mean anything. I do think, uh, or what I would love to see happen, is that the fans get a little bit more nuanced with the problems they're having because, frankly, I say this for the fans' benefit, I think they get uh, taken out. When, when you speak in broad, kind of general uh, slogan-type terms, I think it's very easy for the creators to turn those slogans around on you, and they do. And I think if you come with a far more nuanced argument like, hey, this story just, you know, was not a good story. It, it's, I didn't enjoy it. Um, the, there was no resolution. The continuity was all over the place. Uh, this, this story, you know, the story was not a great story. First of all, as a fan, you got to be willing to accept that other people may like this story you don't like. Fine. But it's harder for a creator to come back and tell you, well, the stories have always been bad like this. I mean, that, that doesn't, it, it's just harder to do. And I think if you're having this argument about something you dislike about a comic, I think the more specific you can be, the better. And on the other end, I, I do think, I, I wish creators would give up on this kind of gotcha style argument that sometimes goes on of like, ah, no, see, they've always been this way. No, they haven't. You, you know, I think people know what they're doing. I think when you're, you're doing a comic and you're saying, hey, we're going to, you know, have Superman talk about white privilege and kind of marginalization and other things. It's like, well, number one, um, what we call white uh, doesn't apply to Superman because he's not human. <laughs> so this whole concept of human races is, is really, I mean, we're off on a weird foot already, but if you're writing a story talking about Superman accepting his white privilege and kind of how he's marginalized, you, you know what you're doing. You, you know you're, you're, you're dipping into kind of current talking points and slogans. And, you know, if that's what you want to do, stand by it, you know, admit it, just, just, just own it. Don't sit there and try and pretend that you're telling like a, a classic Jack Kirby tale with some of this stuff. This isn't this isn't how it used to be. You're doing something new, and it's okay to do something new. Just don't don't be insecure about the new thing you're doing, and try and pass it off as it's always been this way. I think that's just goofy. Anyway, what do you think? I, I this whole argument again. It's it's like fighting. It's 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 fighting a dumb battle. Because there, there is no true win that can come out of it. But let me know what you think in your comments below. Like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. Uh, follow me on social media. Send me an email. All that kind of stuff. Let me know what you think about it. But most importantly, thanks for listening.